Hi everyone, this is Kate and I am finally here with my August budget follow-up for you. Um, I tried to film this a little earlier this week, but um, I felt a little rushed and ended up doing a really bad job, so I decided to just re-record so I would actually be happy with it. Um, so I'm just going to run through everything that I already have written down here, and there were a few things I forgot to mention, so it works out. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in and then start going through everything that happened this month. Okay, so our income is exactly as expected. Um, this is my salaried income, $4,085.70. And by the way, if you did not see the original um, Budget With Me video for August, um, I suggest watching that first if you have any questions on anything um, because I go into more detail there. And I will link that up in the um, cards up top. Uh, for Side Hustle, that is my Etsy shop and I paid myself $133.54. I know this doesn't look like a lot and um, it really isn't. <laughs> I just kind of started out and I also keep kind of like a buffer amount in a separate checking account for my Etsy um, fees and things. So um, that's just the small amount that I decided to transfer over to myself. So altogether we've got $4,219.24. For um, bills and fixed expenses, uh, everything was pretty much to plan um, except for um, the internet bill. That increased because um, our like 12 month new customer promo expired. So that did go up $20. Um, I didn't realize it was going to do that. So I just made an adjustment over in the categories column. Okay, so tithe, that was exactly as expected. It actually was supposed to go in the fixed expenses column, but I ran out of room. Um, that is a, an auto draft out of, my, out of our checking account, which is why it's always exactly what I budget. For grocery and household, we budgeted 400 and actually came in under at $303.09. So we were almost $100 um, under budget there, which was great because we went over in other areas. Um, gas and auto, we budgeted um, 130 and then the actual was 119.40. So we were under by $10.60. For the home category, um, this was way over. We budgeted 200 and then ended up spending $553.83. Um, and that is because we decided to, well, backing up a little bit, when we bought our house last year, we had to renovate like almost everything unexpectedly. So we put in only the bare minimum um, in terms of cabinets and countertops in our kitchen. So we were living with really the minimum to, to get in like the sink and dishwasher and stuff. But um, we purchased another base cabinet to fill in a two foot section between the wall and our stove. And I'll put a picture in just so you can see for fun um, what I'm talking about, but I was kind of getting annoyed with not having that there. so. We did that, so that was uh, like a $3,300 purchase. Um, we went over in other things, but I think that was like yard stuff. I don't really remember. Um, for personal, uh, we budgeted 100 and then actual came in at $132.04, so we were over $32. For credit card interest, um, that came in at $111.30. Um, property tax sinking fund, and this one I'll come back to because like this category is just the leftovers, whatever we have, you know, leftover from our pluses and minuses here, it just gets put into um, sinking fund. Um, unexpected was just kind of 
a little buffer that I put there and then internet increase was that adjustment for the bill going up. So um, what we had left over from that um, is $456.55 for the um, sinking fund, which did come under, um, but not by a whole lot, um, thankfully. And I think that's why I ended up paying myself a couple bucks from my Etsy shop was because I wanted to help make up for that cabinet purchase. Um, okay, so I can't really move this because of my tripod feet being in the way. So overall, um, our categories section was, oh gosh, um, over by about $135, um, which evens out with the, um, the side hustle income money that I have there. So once we moved all of our totals over into this table over here, we have a nice zeroed out balance. Um, and this is a nice tidy zero because after I calculate everything else and then whatever is left over goes into um, the sinking fund. So that's kind of how I figure that out. Um, and also I wanted to start kind of going into the other stuff beyond the, um, the line items here with you guys. I want to get better at that. I know I've been kind of omitting it up until this point. Um, so our savings contribution this month was $80. So our total in our uh, savings is five seventy forty three. dollars I know that's not a lot, but um, we really had to focus more on bills that were coming up and um, paying down our credit card. So that is low for now, but hopefully we can put a little more into that in the upcoming months. Um, our credit card payment, um, this is the total amount that I put towards the card um, based on this month's transactions. So my budgeting software tells me the total amount that was put on the card for that month specifically, and then I make sure that that amount is paid. Um, sometimes I do more, but um, yeah, that is the actual amount from all of these um, expenses here. So some of these are our checking account, like mortgage and Jeep and things like that. Um, but most of it goes through the credit card. And then I just make sure every new purchase is paid off. Uh, and that's kind of it for now. I do have a section here for debt. I didn't fill it out. Um, so I don't know exactly what the credit card balance was at the time. I could do all the math to figure it out, but I'm not gonna. Um, I will start getting into more detail on our credit card debt soon. Um, I just have to get better about, um, tracking and paying like this exact amount so that the, um, balance actually makes sense to you guys. Cause what I typically do is like just pay random chunks of money off like every two weeks on the credit card and just kind of like make sure that on average the balance is you know, keeping up with our purchases and things like that. So I know it doesn't make a lot of sense to you guys and I kind of have to readjust my habits before I can explain it and present it to you. Otherwise, I'm just going to confuse people, I think. Um, and then these items over here, I just kind of put these stickers down to photograph my kit um, when I was listing it for sale. And then um, I just have a little note section down here just to... Um, remind myself if I ever come back to look at this, like why the, um, why the home category was way over and it was because of our base cabinet purchase. And that is pretty much it. If you guys have any suggestions or questions or comments, um, please let me know in the comments below. I really look forward to hearing from you guys. I love getting comments um, and some conversation going about things. And I'm looking forward to filming my October budget soon and um, a September follow-up video. Actually, September is going to be really good because if you were following me, you know that we have a massive tax bill, which is our school tax um, due this month. And um, I didn't have enough in the sinking fund to cover it. 
and we uh, it looks it looks good that's the update that I'll give you for right now is that we're looking like that is totally covered and taken care of so um, that's really great and I can't wait to kind of show you how that worked out throughout this month um, I also have let's see here I'm gonna zoom you out and ooh, sorry um, I want to show you really quickly because by the time I get my um, October budget video published um, it'll probably be a little too late to order this before the month but I do have my October kit available in my shop and it looks something like this actually it looks exactly like this um, and then the actual layout um, I did kind of like a demo um, here you go. And it's really pretty. I'm actually pretty proud about this one. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you're interested in that, I do sell these in my Etsy shop. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I have all of the information down below for, um, my Etsy shop link, my Instagram, um, all of the products that I use, things like that. So you can find that information below. Um, if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out and I really appreciate all of you who have been um, commenting and getting involved in my videos. It's really great to see those comments. So um, I will see you guys soon and have an awesome rest of September. Um, these endings are like the hardest things to do. I never know how to close these videos out. <laughs> See you guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.